What's up everybody, Topher Walsh here for VisualFXTuts.com and I want to talk to you guys a little bit about a workaround with the BCC7 3D Extruded Text Filter from Continuum Complete from Boris FX. Um, if you haven't checked out Continuum Complete, it's a freaking awesome uh, collection of effects and you know, tons of 3D crap and it's just awesome. So check it out if you can. Uh, but what my thing was is I was trying to figure this out when I was working on a project a couple months ago, and I just started working on another project, and I forgot that it actually caused me a ton, a huge headache. And so what happened was, I have a multiple monitor setup. I have a monitor on this side over here, which you can't see, and I have a monitor on this side over here, which you guys can't see. And uh, I, this is my main monitor, and I span between the three. And it seems that the 3D text, uh, the 3D extruded text filter from Boris doesn't really like multiple monitors for some reason. Um, I'm using a Quadro FX 4000 card, um, you know, 16 gigs RAM, uh, uh, six core, uh, yeah, six core AMD 2.6, I believe. Um, but um, that's what my setup is right now. So I asked on the cow, and I asked Boris himself, and he said that maybe it's the dual monitor setup or the, the triple monitor. So what I'll do as I'll show you what I was doing. So, um, let's jump right here into After Effects. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a simple solid to the scene, and then I'm gonna take Effect, BCC 3D Objects, Extruded Text. And you're gonna see, well, you won't see, my uh, monitor on this side over here just went black, and then you saw this one blink. Um, now, my monitor came back up, I'm getting my twirly whirl, click this, and then I'm going to get my error message saying that After Effects has crashed. And watching this happen about 50 times is very, very, very aggravating. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click right click here on my desktop, go to uh, NVIDIA Control Panel. And uh, I don't know why it is, but it just doesn't like my third monitor over here. But I have this come up, and there's all these different things in here, but we're going to go to the set of multiple displays. I'm just going to click off my two side ones. So, I mean, you could see where these ones were. Uh, well, that one should be in the middle, but anyways, whatever. Um, so, the only one that's left is my main one that I'm on right now. We're going to hit apply, and it's going to go really wonky here for a second. You'll see. I don't know if you can see anything that's going on, but it's uh, weird. So, let's just say yes. We're going to keep this configuration right here, and uh, I'm sure you guys can see my uh, a Camtasia window here. Anyways, so we're going to launch After Effects again. And let it go through everything it's doing here. <sighs> Alright, and then we're going to select the project we had before. I'm just going to go into this layer that I was using, do a Control Y, and then we're going to go to Effect, BCC 3D Objects, extruded text. And hopefully it should work. Alright, so what it does is it pinged my uh, graphics card. It says what I'm using here. Uh, you say OK. And then here's your text. So you just go BAM! My name's Tofa. I don't know why I did that retarded voice. Sorry. I apologize. Let's make it fit inside the thing. And then just do BAM! And why is it showing up? Interesting. Uh, choose preset. Curl the orange. I don't know why. The, let's just solo this one. Oh, let's solo this one. Huh. Maybe it has to do with the proxy. Um, let's turn this proxy off. And solo that. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't work if you have a proxy on there. That's what the problem is. So, there's my 3D text. You can see, uh, you can mess around with it all you want. Text on a circle. Twisted ring text. All this good stuff. And now your thing works. So, if you're like me, you're probably kind of upset because you really, really, really like your triple monitor setup. Or in my case, yeah, in my case, the triple monitor setup or your dual monitor setup or whatever you got. So, let's, um... Let's check that one out. So I got a, uh, I got a screen area up here, right here. So we're gonna do uh, 
uh, let's see, go back to NVIDIA control panel. We'll switch back on our monitors. Then hit, I don't know why that's not working. Anyways, um, hit apply. Hopefully this works. All right, so now we're back. We have our monitors over here. I got my monitor on this side. I got my monitor on this side. I'm gonna hit yes to keep the changes. And the cool thing about that is, now you can actually work with your triple monitor setup inside of After Effects. I can scrub through, I'm not getting my error messages, I'm not crashing. So basically, what have we learned here today? What we need to do is if you're gonna use Boris Effects 3D Extruded Text with After Effects and with a dual or triple monitor setup, what you have to do is disable your monitors first in the NVIDIA control panel or in whatever control panel it is, maybe it's Ultramon or something like that, but you need to disable your other monitors except for your main monitor, launch After Effects, set the, or apply the effect to a solid, let it ping your graphics card, and then turn your monitors back on. So I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. Uh, my name is Topher Welsh from VisualEffectsTuts.com. Uh, please check out our website, you know, click our ads. It helps us keep the site going, helps these quick tips keep happening, and, uh, you know, the more uh, more traffic we get, the more cool stuff we could do, the more tutorials I can do, the more news we can bring you, and, oh, and by the way, if you guys are going to be at NAB, hit me up on Twitter, shoot me a message on Facebook, or just shoot me an email. You can email me at support at visualeffectstuts.com. I'd love to meet up while we're there. So if you're hitting my Media Motion Ball, the Trap Code Party, the uh, NAB Pinball part Party, love to see you. So lastly, my name's Topher Welsh. Make sure you check out everything. I hope you guys were helped by this tutorial, and I will see you guys in the next post slash tutorial. See you later. Bye.